What is going on everyone? It is Midline Vault Wanderer and I'm talking about Borderlands 3. So when I started to try and record footage for my bucket list series, I was going to start with LA Noir because a lot of people voted for that and they really wanted me to play that game. And it turns out LA Noir on some PCs that operate Windows 10 just won't work and it hasn't been resolved yet. So there was this little game that I picked up in its place which is called Borderlands and I am a huge fan of the Borderlands series. I've played Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2 a number of times both throughout and also a little bit of the pre-sequel but mostly just the first game and the second game and myself and I'm sure many other fans of the series are really wondering where is Borderlands 3? What do we know about Borderlands 3? So, I've done the hard work for you. In this video, I want to be telling you everything today that we know about Borderlands 3. So back in 2015, after Borderlands the pre-sequel was released in 2014, we got Borderlands The Handsome Collection, which was a compilation and port of Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, thanks to Wikipedia for that information. Now what we need to remember is that Borderlands the pre-sequel was actually developed by 2K Australia, only with assistance from Gearbox Software and 2K Games. So that particular game, which was technically the last official Borderlands game that we got, was not developed by its original developer, Gearbox Software. But after Borderlands 2, which was the last Borderlands game that Gearbox Software really worked on, again, aside from assistance with Borderlands pre-sequel, they worked on a number of different games, excluding Borderlands Legends here, in the form of Aliens Colonial Marines, Homeworld Deserts of Karak, and a little known game known as Battleborn, which I believe is having some issues trying to compete with Overwatch at the minute. But nevertheless, I'm sure it's a great game. So Gearbox as their main project hasn't necessarily worked on a Borderlands title really since Borderlands 2, which was released back in 2012. And since then, they worked on a number of different other pieces of intellectual property. So suffice to say, sooner rather than later, we'd expect for Gearbox to move back to Borderlands. Well, back in February of 2014, Randy Pitchford, who is the CEO and president of Gearbox, stated that we are not working on Borderlands 3, that is unqualified, we have more to do in the franchise, but no, there isn't a Borderlands 3. So at least at that stage, they were not working on the game. However, fast forward almost a year later, in January 25th of 2015, at PAX South, Randy Pitchford finally announced that, quote, we are recruiting for next Borderlands. This is the big one, industry badass. Email me, heyrandy at gearboxsoftware.com. We want to hear from passionate and talented people to help us with the next Borderlands game. Check our website. So as far as I could see, it was January of 2015 that Randy Pitchford and Gearbox itself officially announced that it was beginning work on Borderlands 3. But of course, at the time, it was still working on Homeworld and it was still working on Battleborn, which were both released this year. And then around a week later after that official announcement of Gearbox working on Borderlands 3, there was speculation as to whether Borderlands 3 would be developed as well for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 on top of Xbox One and PS4. However, the president of Take-Two, Carl Slatoff, said that the next Borderlands game is being developed, quote, specifically for next-gen consoles in the form of the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. And he dropped this quote specifically during an earnings call following the company's financial report. So what did we know at that stage? We knew that one, Gearbox was looking at recruiting for Borderlands 3, maybe not necessarily developing, perhaps concepting or pre-planning or even planning itself, but not necessarily that they had started straight development of the game, although they would have at least started some sort of work on it. And then it was clarified that this game would only be released on then next-gen consoles in the form of the Xbox One and is for and right now we're truly in the midst of those previous next-gen consoles but now current gen consoles so perhaps sometime soon maybe in just over a year or two we could be seeing the release of Borderlands 3 especially because then in April of this year Gearbox officially confirmed at a PAX East panel and again by Randy Pitchford that it would be developing its third Borderlands game after it wrapped up production on Battleborn and its DLC. Quote, it's no secret, obviously there's going to be another Borderlands. However, what was really interesting about this is that Randy Pitchford stated that, quote, we don't even know if we're going to call it that. We could call it Borderlands 4 for all we know. And this might be because we had Borderlands pre-sequel, which was set in between the events of the original Borderlands released in 2009 and Borderlands 2 released in 2012. However, to me personally, it sounds a bit odd that the next Borderlands game would be called Borderlands 
4 as opposed to Borderlands 3. Pre-sequel to me was a bit of a spin-off, especially because it was developed by 2K Australia as opposed to Gearbox, but whatever they call it, I'm sure it's going to be a great time. So there you go, everyone. That is all we know about Borderlands 3 at this stage. We know that Battleborn is still in the midst of its DLC release and rollout, so we're probably not going to be seeing anything about Borderlands 3 probably within the next year. My personal prediction is that we're going to be seeing more about Borderlands 3 at next year's E3. We know that Take-Two Interactive focused on Mafia 3 at E3 this year, so perhaps Borderlands 3 is going to be the focus for them at next year's E3, although it still seems unlikely in my opinion that we'll see the game actually released next year. Perhaps they'll talk about it at E3 of next year in terms of a teaser or a small trailer but aside from that, I don't think we're going to be getting anything more, especially because currently Gearbox Software is also working on Duke Nukem and Brothers in Arms. So they seem like they have a busy schedule at this minute, but if I had to put a really rough prediction on it now, I'm going to say that we're going to hear more about Borderlands 3 at next year's E3, and if we don't get a late 2017 release, we'll probably get a release in 2018. So anyways, guys and girls, I would love to get your thoughts about Borderlands 3. Are you excited for it? Do you think we're going to be hearing more information about the game sometime soon? or perhaps next year. When do you think the game is going to be released? All that good stuff. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, this has been the Lone Bolt Wanderer. Please take care of yourself. And as always, keep fighting the good fight.